Hi traders, we made this video to optimize your everyday searching for setups. I know that many of you spend a lot of time to find reliable setup. Watch this video till the end where we will summarize step-by-step -step sequence of finding reliable setups for your trading session. Do not forget about Discord server to boost your experience and stay in touch with our experts. Now it's time to start. I will show you the sequence that I elaborated through the years. The very first and most important element we should start the analysis with uh, is a market background report. We should check the sentiments of the market. BTC news and fundings. First of all, we check the BTC behavior not to be surprised by unexpected movements. Because if we are looking for long movements, while BTC is showing us to be about to short, uh, our trade will probably be spoiled because altcoins almost usually follow the BTC. Now, what do we see here? One hour time frame BTC is ending its long run, ending its long trend, and now it showed us the correction. The correction broke the first zone of strong bars, and here on the way we see the second, the next zone of strong bar, where I'm almost sure uh, the BTC will be reversed. But anyway, if we turn to 15 minutes time frame, here we see a local lows that would probably gonna be broken as well as you see and it will be something like this kind of compression to this level many touches as you see several touches and finally the breakout that will maybe resist by this zone but now, at least at the current moment, we see that the BTC is inside the range with uh, quite low volumes and the market is gonna be calm for today. At least for upcoming several hours. I hope it's clear. Then news. We go to news aggregator like investing and check the economic calendar. We do not trade 15 minutes before and after three stars news release to avoid an adequate price movement. What do we see here for the whole day? There are no uh, very important news except this uh, period. FOMSC press conference. It's extremely important kind of news. Three stars. It will be a press conference of uh, we fix this time. We set up the reminder 15 minutes before this uh, occasion we stop trading. The morning period is quite calm and clear. There is nothing to bring volatility to the market uh, before this news release. Two, three upcoming hours are expected to be calm. And finally, we switch to the screener of uh, the C scalp, and here we see the funding uh, section. Fundings are made to restore correlation between futures and spot, depending on the funding figures, buyers pay to sellers or vice versa when their positions are opened. And uh, we, we should check uh, timing and better avoid having your position open during uh, the time of fundings as it can play against you. But now we see that findings are very, very low, 0.1%. The most dangerous findings are about more than 1% when the movements uh, are very strong. And we see that uh, before the next funding, more than one hour left. So the findings are calm and not dangerous. Now we have a clear picture of the background of the market and we can switch to setup searching. Now we can make a conclusion that the market is very calm, uh, the volatility is stable and moderate. Now we should select the in-play instruments. The best way is to watch the active in-play instruments with moderate to high volatility because we are scalpers and we trade volatile instruments. Here in CSCAP, we can watch, as you see, the leaders of growth, 
and the leaders of fall and we select the most active and promising instruments. I prefer watching the top 5 instruments from this list, uh, the most active in fall and growth, and we place them on our working space. So we create new tab, we add the order book, another order book for futures, We really see that instrument is quite active, that what we are really interested in. So we placed the most active instruments uh, on our working space and we remember the report. We can uh, find uh, the setups to both sides, long setups and short setups because the market background report uh, tells us that everything is okay, the market is quite calm and uh, what should we do next? We should switch to local technical analysis of the instrument first of all we should uh, stipulate we should mark uh, the local extremums daily highs and daily minimums let's switch to higher time frames we see that the instrument is inside the range and it's extremely important and the next sequence uh, will depend on uh, the strategy we are trading. Uh, I personally trade uh, the breakouts, uh, level breakouts and uh, the zones uh, smart money trading. The volumes are rising and the instrument is forming local highs. So we mark these highs and during the day we can expect uh, the multiple touches to this level with further breakout of it. Of course, the market news or unexpected BTC behavior could spoil this analysis, but anyway, we're just searching for possible trades. We left this scenario as the first one that we are expecting for today's trading session. Because as you see, uh, the local highs were formed. Here we see the tendency of uh, volume growth and we expect this scenario. Next instrument, here we see the consolidation after a drastic uh, short movement. We see this uh, accumulation of price with decrease of volumes, but anyway, the instrument is still active. What I personally expect. Here we see the inclined level that in fact implies cascade levels breakout. As you see, on very high activity around these levels, we can expect the breakout. But we should really keep an eye on the tape. The tape should be extremely active before, right before the breakout. This is the next scenario, the next setup for this trading session. Joy USDT. Uh, as you see, the volumes are rising. And if we turn to 5 minutes time frame, we see quite interesting formation. It's keep aggressively uh, falling. And they see the local minimums that could be assaulted. I'm expecting the instrument to keep uh, trading here with uh, price compression to this level as usual. Nothing's, nothing difficult with the further breakout. There could be, frankly speaking, some liquidity grabs, a fake uh, attempts to buy out. But anyway, I am almost sure that uh, there is a strong correction on the market and uh, we expect this price to continue the movement. Uh, this is in the next setup. I'm expecting to work out here. Another one instrument that I'm interested to work out is WLD and uh, here you see quite clear level, however, um, the volumes are decreasing. Here, uh, daily volumes are not enough, but in case the volumes uh, rise by the moment uh, of the next approach to this level, I will probably participate in this breakout. And finally, I remind you about the CSCAP signals channel that as well could be used as a screener it will help you to find the setups for your trading session.
but I really want you to understand that these uh, signals are posted by professional traders and uh, should only be used only if you understand and share the thoughts of the author. Now you know the optimal process of uh, finding the setups for your trading session and I hope this video was useful. If you have some questions or comments, you are welcome to write them in the comments below. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.